Meanwhile, South Sudan's government has opened a new terminal at the Juba International Airport. It's equi equipped with modern state-of-the-art facilities and it's causing much excitement amongst the South Sudanese. CGTN's Patrick Oyet with the story. A new terminal building at Juba International Airport is open for business. It follows the upgrading of the runway by China Harbor Engineering Company. A local contractor from Africa Construction Company is behind the new building and locals are excited about the possibilities it offers. We just thank God and thank uh, all, uh, everybody have uh, a, a hand for this uh, occasion and for this uh, airport to be built like this. We are upgraded. You can see it's well developed. We have 3D systems are available and we are happy. We are very much happy. Many South Sudanese have spent years dreaming about developments like this. This is the VIP lounge at Terminal 1. The facility is the first of its kind in the country. However, there are still challenges. Building of the airport's Terminal 2 has taken nine years, but Juba says with peace returning, it will now prioritize development. In the past, there have been reports of unruly soldiers forcing pilots to fly passengers without tickets. Some of these cases are blamed for the frequent aviation accidents, especially on domestic flights. The government has pledged to be more vigilant to avoid instances like this in the future. I kindly ask all the authorities and the, and the general public to respect the orderliness of the airport and abide with the regulations or any resolution from the cabinet or from the minister or the board or the civil aviation board. Juba says everything is ready for the peace celebrations scheduled for Wednesday. Many of the guests attending the festivities will enter the country via this new terminal. Patrick Oyet, CGTN, Juba, South Sudan.